boom, we are live. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Nolan Hawkeye Anthony YouTube channel. And I thank all of you for being here, wherever you may be. And of course, however you may be listening. This is going to be a very quick show. I am going to give you guys the rundown of the Iowa Hawkeyes at the Big Ten Media Day, what Kirk Ferentz said in some of his interviews, the major news and information that came out of the press conferences and other interviews as such. Uh, and we will be diving into that. So very, very quick interview. But before we get into any of that, I want to ask you guys to hit that subscribe button. Help your boy out. We're going to continue chugging along and building this up. I'm so grateful to each and every one of you who have jumped on this train along with me. Uh, I could not be more grateful if I tried uh, eternally grateful. Uh, so thank you for that. Like, comment, share. You know the drill. I'll put the PayPal Cash App link in the description if you want to donate to the channel. And without further ado, let's get in to this. So the two deeps were released today. Uh, that was some pretty big news. The other news uh, was with regards to some roster stuff. Uh, and I will be playing some of the uh, a portion of the interview that played. Uh, after we go over this, but this is the updated depth chart. Now, listen, folks, don't get too overwhelmed with this. I would say with the depth chart, I would say about 75% of this is accurate, but there's still a lot of moving parts here, a lot of moving pieces. And ultimately what matters is the game on the field. Uh, and this is just a snapshot. We don't know which guys are going to make it out of camp healthy. We don't know who will emerge and who uh, won't. I mean, at the end of the day, and Kirk Ferentz talks about this all the time, there are so many moments or, or so many times in the past where we have seen guys emerge seemingly out of nowhere and Kirk Ferentz has said that that is how it goes you have a guy who has been chugging along chugging along chugging along that nobody knows about and then boom it all comes together at once and it's all uh you know off to the races after that so um don't get too overwhelmed with this this is just a snapshot but anyways uh the the first major action that we see here is uh, Alex Wick being in the two deep, uh, you know, obviously some of the guys that I could have seen in this position over Alex Wick would have been Jackson Ritter, who we saw previously uh, there instead of Alex Wick, Brody Brecht, uh, Deontay Vines, and all of that. Now, ultimately, I believe Brody Brecht and Deontay Vines are both solidly in the race to receive snaps. I expect both of them to see snaps this year uh, for the Iowa Hawkeyes. When it comes to the wide receiver group, folks, what you should expect with this group is the three main guys who are Keegan Johnson, Arlan Bruce, and Nico Regani, a.k.a. Nico Raggiani, and then the other guys that, that will be sprinkled in there, hopefully not at random, but they will be sprinkled in there uh, over the course of the season. In the past, you know, we primarily saw it be only three guys, you know, when it was Brandon Smith, Amir Smith, Marset, Nico Easley, you know, uh, hell, when uh, Amir Smith, Marset, and Brandon Smith were seniors, it was basically just those two. Um, so, but I think that this group has a few guys that can definitely see some action, see some snaps now. And most of me saying this is predicated on me believing that Iowa is not going to have a true top tier target. They have a lot of talent in this room, but I think at the end of the day, they do not have an elite guy yet. I think they have a few guys who can become elite, but they don't have an elite guy yet, but they do have a bunch of really, really solid options at the wide receiver position. So I think this will be a committee approach. Uh, of course, Jackson Ritter, uh, 
Unfortunately, we received some uh, not so good news with him. He is injured. He will be out for the rest of the season. I am actually very high on him, and I thought uh, that he was going to be a major under-the-radar guy for the Iowa Hawkeyes where we saw some amazing production from him. I like his physical tools, his size, his athleticism, his blocking. Uh, but unfortunately, he will be out for the season. So Alex Wick was the first uh, major uh, kind of eye popper. Uh, the rest was pretty much, you know, as is. I would say the only other major uh, eye popper would be not seeing Justin Britt uh, on this. Uh, the guard who received, you know, who was a starter for a handful of games last year who saw tons of snaps last year, uh, the guard out of Indianapolis. Uh, and, of course, he is injured, and he will be out for the remainder of the season. And that is tough because two reasons. Number one, it hurts the depth. However, and Iowa is losing a talented offensive lineman. But the other thing that sucks is – because Iowa has a ton of talented guys in the waiting rooms, Justin Britt, even when he comes back next year and, and knock on wood, he can come back healthy. I think he is going to have some work to do in order to get his starting spot back, which is too bad. Uh, I feel terrible for the guy because he has been patient. He's been working his tail off and it really is too bad. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, and so far it looks like the replacement will be Tyler Ellsbury. Of course, uh, you know, Connor Colby is probably the most talented offensive lineman, uh, in this group here. I could see Connor Colby kick into the left side, uh, and Iowa finding somebody who could play on the right side here in the, at the end of the day, Iowa is going to play their, the five best offensive linemen, uh, and put them where they need to put them. Uh, so this is the group so far. Uh, day, uh, redshirt freshman David Davikoff is a second stringer. Tyler Ellsbury is getting the nod at left guard. Um, Michael Mislinski is second stringer behind Logan Jones, which is a big deal. He is already listed as a starter. So I think he has been showing some phenomenal progress. And I think, Iowa fans, you should be excited about Logan Jones. Uh, I think we're going to see not... I'm not going to say we're going to see something similar to Tyler Linderbaum, but I think that this guy is, uh, let's just say Iowa fans will be very happy regarding the move that was made there. Connor Colby on the right side here, uh, Jack Plum manning the right tackle spot, Nico Regani, Arlan Bruce, Spencer Petras, Alex Padilla, Gavin Williams, LaShawn Williams. Uh, you guys can see it here. Um, Cooper DeJean, is listed as the starting cash. Uh, this defense is loaded, folks. It is absolutely loaded. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and and the other major piece of news, I guess, would be Ethan Herkett uh, in the uh, number two spot here. But again, nothing super, super major. Uh, we're going to go ahead and play this uh, clip here, a little bit of this clip here, and then I will get out of here. Uh, listen, folks. The bottom line is that I believe that this Iowa team is super, super talented. They are loaded. And you guys are going to see my prediction when it comes to the Iowa Hawkeyes when I release my video, uh, basically giving my tiers of the Big Ten going into the season based off of the talent that is on each team. Uh, and it is somewhat of a prediction for how things will shake out uh, during the season. But the bottom line is, folks, I am super uh, high on this Iowa Hawkeye team. They are loaded. They have talent everywhere in at each position. Uh, I, I can, I wouldn't be surprised if, if at any position group, if guys emerge and have phenomenal seasons, I mean, let's just go through it real quick. Tight end check uh, running back. I feel pretty, pretty good about the running back position. Uh, defensive line check uh, linebacker check defensive backs check the, the the three positions that are of note or the four positions that are, are of note would be kicker offensive line uh quarterback and wide receiver 
But again, folks, this Iowa team is loaded, and that is why a lot of predictors have Iowa finishing first. Here we go. Work with guys that have, you know you haven't seen. And Mike was out most of the fall, so you know I, I think there's no question he's he's going to be in the competition of our top eight, top nine. Um, and now it's just a matter of how much he can pick things up, how fluidly he can play. And uh, Logan did a good job with that, being a totally new player in, in uh, April. So. You know, you just never know. That's, that's what the month of August will tell us. Just we'll see how things uh, progress at all. Let's see with Justin Britt. I just saw you guys in the summer depth chart. Yeah, so I'd, I'd probably go back and review. There, there are two guys I'll let you know right now that uh, are going to be out for the season. Justin, unfortunately, is one of those uh, more complications with a knee injury. And then the other one's uh, uh, Jackson Ritter. Yeah, he's not going to be cleared medically. So those two guys are, there's absolutely no way they'll play this fall. So unfortunately, we lose a, a veteran player in Justin. Is that from? Is that the original knee injury you suffered in high school? Yeah, it's just it? been complicated, and uh, yeah, there have been some some reoccurring issues there. So, yeah, I just feel bad for him. It's a tough break. All right, guys. Again, you guys can go and watch this clip over at Hawkeye Report. Um, by the way, be sure to go to two four seven Hawkeye dot com. I'm not sure what I'm going to decide to do with that website yet, but be sure to go there. It's a great website. Um, listen, folks. Again, this Iowa team is loaded. Uh, you're not a ton of information is ever going to be released at the big 10 media days. It's the big 10 media days or media days in general are meant to advertise your program and to put the best faces uh, on your program. Uh, the real stuff begins when camp begins. I cannot believe how close we are to the season. I am super pumped. We're so close to being there and you guys will be there with me every step of the way. Uh, I will have you guys covered and we will really uh, take care of this and do this in true Hawkeye fashion. All right, folks, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Help your boy out at the very least like comment, share, you know, the drill. Uh, I will put the PayPal and Cash App links in the description. And last but not least, DVAP, don't be a pussy willow. And facts are feelings because your feelings just don't matter. Love you guys. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Go Hawks.